guys. Today I'm going to talk to you about a few things that I've collected um, this past week that I've bought from Boots and Superdrug and um, I hope to share them with you. So I have to say these are probably one of my favourite things that I've got um, ever since I started the videos. I've been using them for about a week, that's probably why you haven't seen a video from me because I really wanted to try them out to give a review as well, not just like a like a collection video of what I've just bought. So. Um, yeah, uh, they're a little bit mixed and match, so quite random, but um, I think you'll like them anyway. So I'll start with the most random stuff. <laughs> I bought dental floss, and yes, you could say it's money uh, not wisely spent. It wasn't expensive anyway. I can't remember how much it was, but um, it's so cute. It's tiny. It's little pink gloss. See, look at my hand, and look how big that is. <laughs> and actually, for being so small... It smells really minty, so um, it's good. And you can put it in your little makeup bag without being so obvious. You know, when you open up your makeup bag and everyone's like, Oh my god, she's got a toothbrush in there. She's got dental floss in there. It's that small, so no one will see. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got this Clearasil Spot Blocker Pen. Because when I have spots, they're really stubborn. They won't go away. And I don't exactly um, help the problem either. Because when I revise or study or whatever, I'm always going like this, rubbing my hands and my uh, onto my forehead. And so I, I just make it worse anyway, I know. But um, I have this like random hair bit coming out here. That's kind of funny. And um, yeah, so I bought this. And um, it's really cool because it's... The applicator's like this, but it's rubbery, which is kind of freaky, actually, but whatever. The only downside to this, it does work. Um, you just need to put a very thin layer on it. Um, you, can, you put it basically before the spots come. So some people could be like, well, how do you know when a spot is coming? But some people have it during their time of their month. Um, you can normally feel like this itchy sort of feeling on your forehead or I don't know if you have it on your chin or somewhere or you know you'll start to see a bump or it gets red that's basically saying that hello a spot is coming so um, you put it on before but it also works for spots that are already out there so um, yeah I had a few on my forehead so I just put this on it was really good the only downside to this is that it does it does kind of run out quite quickly. It depends how often you put it on. I tend to get really freaked out by them, so I put this on like pretty much three times a day, or any time I go past this pen, I'm like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> gotta put it on. But so that's my fault. But the other downside is the cost. It was about seven pounds, and I think that's really, really expensive for um, a stick. But if you don't have spots that often, and you can, you know, keep this tiny amount for a long time it's good and it does the job too so sometimes I try and think about it and say well I can either have like a big bottle of something and it won't do anything and I have to wait till it runs out or I use this well and it works so that's that's how I came to the conclusion of I should buy this plus I wanted to try it out so I could tell you guys too because you know spots are such a pain for girls but yeah and then I got this Miss Manicure um, just nail file. It comes with two. The other one's in my room. So it's just like this. It has a hard surface and a smooth surface. And it's got like little stamps of like Cairo, Paris, Los Angeles, Rome, Russia. And I just liked it because it has a pink case. And I like to keep my nail files in a case. I think it's just more hygienic. And plus I don't like doing that in my handbag. You know, dipping my hand in my handbag and then like it will scratch my nail varnish and so that really bugs me um, oh that reminds me I didn't bring something I will in a minute okay on to next my favorite things um, I bought this bourgeois liner foot okay I can't really speak French but that's that's the best I can do and it's a liquid liner and it's a felt tip one now I am absolutely awful absolutely awful applying liquid eyeliner I just can't do it I just can't you can give me a slanted brush you can give me whatever I can't do it but this felt tip was much much easier and I've done it on my eyes today not a perfect job I know but it it's fun because um, 
it's really really black I normally used to use a black pencil or a black eyeshadow and that was a very nice softer approach but if you really want that cat eye or if you really want it to stand out this is fantastic I was torn between this one from Bourjois and another one from Maybelline they both do felt tips but this one when I swatched it just came out really really nice and black so yeah it's very fine tip and it does last the whole day. It lasts even longer than the whole day. So for me, the whole day is about 8 to 10 hours. It lasted perfectly and it was great. And you can just easily remove it with um, a makeup remover. Then from Maybelline, I got this colour stick. It's a colour definer and it's a waterproof eyeshadow. And I got it in, I think it was like something like spicy chocolate or something. Yeah, number 50 spicy chocolate and I love this loads like loads it comes out like that it's very smooth um, and it just lasts the whole day there we go now it doesn't like um, do justice on here but it's a metallic it's a metallic sort of brown and I just apply this all over the base of um, as a base over my lid and then you know I, I can put some powder on um, up to the crease and to give it a more intense look but um, it's it's really nice I like this I think I'm gonna buy another one then I bought the Maybelline Lash Stiletto because I've tried the L'Oreal Collagen Volume 1 and that was good whatever so I thought I want to try a lengthening one it does work I kind of do regret buying it because I bought it in brown because I thought I want to be different for the summer but now I'm just like uh, alright well it's okay I mean the the color brown if you're looking for a brown mascara it's it's a nice brown and everything but I wish I had it more I think it would be more intense with me um, if it was black um, it does lengthen very nicely and it spreads out your eyelashes really well so for me that's not good because I don't have much um, yeah, many eyelashes. There, it's not. A th I don't have thick eyelashes. Is basically what I'm trying to say. I have long ones anyway, and um, so it, it lengthened really nicely. But um, I have to put that L'Oreal double-sided white one first. I feel like that thickens it up a bit, and then I put the brown mascara on top, and it's fine. I tried it out. So if you're looking just for a nice lengthening mascara, this is a good um good one to go for. So yeah. Um, oh, one of my favourites at the moment is this Revlon Beyond Natural. I really, really like this because um, it's that one that, you know, is white first and has some granules and then you smudge it in and it becomes like the same shade as you. And I'm really glad I got this because it's kind of like a tinted moisturiser for me. It's sheer coverage, so it's nothing for like really covering up, but I think that's perfect for the summer because that's when you don't really need as much because your skin is kind of natural and glowy anyway um, but I really like this purely because it really matches my skin tone like perfectly and um, and I feel like I'm not wearing anything on which is kind of scary but it's kind of good because you're reassured that yep you definitely have something on now when I first put it on my hand I was kind of worried that oh it's just gonna do nothing it just blends in my skin what's the point but when I put it on the next day in the morning and I really put it nicely it worked wonders it still covered even though it matched my skin perfectly so I'm gonna buy another one of this too I really like it and then finally the most expensive I guess is the MAC prep and prime I bought the skin refined zone treatment there we go and this is really good because you know how in my other videos I always complain that I have to have oil blocking sheets and I get a little oily on my t-zone well this is fab for it like fab I can't even tell you um, you put a little bit on like a pea size just in the areas that you think you know you get oily and as soon as you put it on it just goes and it just makes it all matte and it also minimizes your pores now I thought well I don't really have many visible pores oh well as soon as you put like something on like this on then you realize that wait a minute I had pores you know <laughs> like so I just put it on you're not supposed to put it on your entire face but I put it on like a little bit of my cheeks here because that's where you get most of it and other places and suddenly my pores had just shrunk um, it makes it a little harder to blend your foundation in so especially like something like this which is like a creamy one but I think with a liquid one it's a little better and the only other downside is that it's very small but then again you don't need very much and maybe the price so 
that's about it really but I hope you enjoyed that and I'll talk to you soon